Hi guys, it's Ian from Signal Centre. It is Monday uh, the 2nd of December 2019. In this video report I'm going to be discussing uh, the FX majors, quite an emphasis on uh, the dollar index at the start, uh, basically highlighting uh, what we're seeing this week uh, and what to expect uh, with regards to chart formations uh, and support and resistance levels. So I'm going to start off just by talking briefly about economic data releases um, today this morning we've had quite a few PMI um, manufacturing releases out of Europe all better than expected uh, we did see a tick higher in Asian stocks uh, overnight that was better than expected uh, Chinese data um, later on today three o'clock today we've got the ISM manufacturing figures from the US going to be closely watched uh, a figure above 50 uh, would highlight expansion for the first time in quite a while um, probably be quite bullish for the dollar the dollar for me is in no man's land at the moment going to explain that uh, in a moment um, then later on in the week or later on in the week tonight going into tomorrow morning we've got RBA interest rate decision uh, likely uh, to be unchanged at 0.75% uh, and then we've got numerous sort of second tier data until we walk into uh, Friday where we've got non-farm payroll release um, which obviously is highly in in anticipated by the market um, so let's start off with the dollar index and again we're just going to go to this uh, monthly chart because I believe it's the most significant chart probably uh, on my worktop at the moment um, we have keep on going on about this candle formation in October we posted a bearish outside candle also known as the Q monthly reversal formation um, we've also noted this level here which is at 98.37 on numerous occasions so it's near the Marabuzo level it was a, um, a previous uh, swing high and it keeps on holding back uh, the bulls um, quite interesting actually late Friday had quite a decent sell-off in the dollar index and it managed to close at 98.27 uh, which is obviously uh, below that level when currently trading at 98.35 there's nothing really to say that this month we couldn't see a spike through that uh, that resistance but this is a chart that I've been focusing on uh, this is the daily chart so we impulse move to the downside just short the 261.8 percent fib and then we've had this move higher so really if Elliott wave enthusiasts are looking at this probably thinking wave one two three four and then down in five and then this being a choppy a b equals cd formation higher one thing that we have to note is this candle here on friday um, it posted a bearish outside day now that candle often indicates the end of a trend and the start of a new downward bias I would prefer to sell in rallies up here um, getting close towards uh, the 99 the figure level but we also can't ignore uh, that candle formation if we go to shorter time frames let's just go to the 60 minutes no 240 to start with so this is the four hour chart here we can see that choppy correction is this a completion of a fifth wave so one two three four and then up in five we did have some resistance located uh, at 98.58 and 98.62 is the, is the fib so so on friday we were sort of wary of this level but we we just stopped short if we go to the hourly chart we have seen uh, a move higher this morning that's a very impulsive move to the downside uh, then we left a gap open we closed the gap and now we're drifting higher intraday and this is only intraday and it'll be interesting to see what happens on uh, ism which is due out in four hours this is prime resistance okay just in between the 61.8 percent and the 78.6 percent fib level good ism figures we could quite easily blow the top uh, off this dollar index and head higher uh, towards that projected right shoulder a bad ISM figure today and this we could be seeing uh, sort of a, a multi-week top in the dollar index so I do think it's essential that we probably keep our powder dry to a certain extent um, going into uh, ISM manufacturing today so let's break down the other currency pairs not going to go into 
too many time frames here we've got the euro dollar chart okay opposite to what's happened in the dollar index we've got a bullish outside candle um, we're close to a 61.8 percent fib there's 109.85 is our intraday support level and that's also a volume area uh, as far as far as market profile is concerned so 109.85 is prime support intraday what i don't like about a long trade idea in euro dollar at the moment is the fact that we've got no exhaustion counts i only really initiate uh, long or short trades if i've got exhaustion counts saying that we have got a weekly 13 but um the uh, stop level is at 107.65 uh projected stop uh, as far as dmark is concerned so it's 400 points lower from where we currently trade so we can't really use that 13 count um, as a, uh, a trading tool sterling dollar um, 161.8 percent fib so this is sort of holding with that bearish bias in the dollar index the dollar index goes to the downside um, sterling dollar should move higher we're just holding within a channel formation uh, we've had 30 odd days of mixed and volatile trading um, is this the free wave correction and then this is the next push higher i don't think so i think we're just going to really just consolidate in that uh, channel for again for, for for quite some time uh intraday i've got support located at 128.65 which is just below a 61.8 percent fib but like i'm saying are we going to get an impulse move to the to the upside only if we see um some really bad uh, figures from ism today otherwise we could just be consolidating until uh, non-farm payroll dollar swiss now um normally one of my favorite currency pairs i'm struggling uh, to really get a feel for this but what i have managed to do this morning is using correlation i managed to get a euro swiss short on so remember i said that i didn't believe that uh, euro dollar was going to keep on extending higher uh, from current levels so that gives euro dollar a, a bearish bias using euro sorry dollar swiss and sterling swiss uh, they both produced dmark 13 counts on uh, on the 30 minute chart so although um, i didn't have any uh, strong signals to sell uh, dollar swiss using correlation i thought it was going to move to the downside this morning and we're actually seeing a break of the uh, previous swing low uh, to the downside uh, we've got support in 99.79 there's scope for maybe a bounce there head and shoulders formation but like i said euro swiss well, i'm just going to flick onto that chart this is a head and shoulders that was noted this morning we had a uh, confluence area 78.6 percent fib uh, and we're now breaking quite nicely uh, to the downside i got in around about this level um so dollar swiss only using correlation i believe it's going to move uh lower but i've got no real signals uh in that currency pair at the moment um dollar yen i am short from friday uh on my personal uh trading account at 109.55 i've got a stop at 109.78 uh, that was using the dmark stop again um what i was looking at is basically an ending wedge so I'm looking for value trades here. Um, an ending wedge, we get a break of support, uh, and the target level is all the way down close to about 106, the figure. That would need uh, some pretty bad news out of uh, the US. I'm not saying that we're not going to get it, uh, and a sell-off in uh, the dollar, but it should also mean a sell-off in stock indices um, as we get uh, yen strengthening and the dollar weakening. Um, really on an intraday basis we need to see a break of this swing low uh, just to confirm we've had higher highs higher lows it will then confirm lower uh, lower highs uh, and lower lows but i think um especially with euro swiss pushing lower euro swiss not dissimilar to dollar yen euro yen aussie yen it has a tendency to move lower when uh, stocks move lower, and that's what we're seeing at the moment um dollar cad uh mixed trading i've got some support we've had i think it's seven days of mixed and volatile trading um 
quite strange actually on friday we saw a decent sell-off in oil but we didn't see much movement in dollar cad now normally if oil devalues cad will devalue so that should have meant that dollar cad moves to the upside so uh, an increase in the US dollar and a decrease in dollar cab, but that, that didn't really happen. Uh, we did see a rejection off the high, but you know, we've really sort of stayed range bound. This could be seen as a symmetrical triangle formation, but I think it's more likely to be a corrective channel. Um, we've got a fib level located at 132.46, got bespoke support located at 132.50. Uh, so, scope for some selling in uh, dollar cab, but I don't think it's going to be. Uh, too prolonged and just you looking at uh, Canadian crosses sterling cad euro cad again they look like they've got scope to move to the downside but it does look like it's limited so using correlation I still think even if the dollar goes lower I think dollar cad uh, it's got a good chance to still move to the upside Aussie dollar now got some resistance located at 6787 uh, this morning and we're just holding around that level. Um, the wedge target was uh, 67.50. We only made a 67.54 low. Is it going to push down to the fib level? Uh, sorry, the um, target level for the wedge? I doubt it now. Because um, if we look at this chart, it's just a 60 minute chart. It does look quite impulsive. One, two, three, four. Is that level going to hold 67.7? If it does, then you really got to look at fibs. This looks like prime sort of long areas, 67, 68. Um, but at the moment, again, wouldn't really be uh, we getting involved in uh, in Aussie dollar. Euro sterling. Let's just go straight to this time frame. This is the daily time frame. Uh, an ending wedge is highlighting uh, caution for uh, Euro sterling bears. Um, we've holding the trend line we've had a gap open this morning gaps have a tendency to be closed uh, we've got bespoke support located in between uh, 84 88 84 75 and then we've got that 161.8 percent fib level at 84 53 so i think the value really at the moment is to buy on dips not sell on rallies um, and obviously a breakout of this uh, wedge formation and we'll be looking towards about 86 50. euro yen I like this to the downside and again using correlation uh, dollar yen uh, lower uh, euro dollar potentially lower but lower limited if we see what I mean <coughs> excuse me we've tried to get short in um, euro yen this morning this is our bespoke resistance 120.95 located very close to the 78.6 uh, percent pullback level at 120.99 half decent move to the downside but i still think there's scope maybe to sell into rallies uh, at the beginning of this week uh, it's at slightly higher levels okay guys i hope you found that informative uh, this was my second recording the first one was 25 minutes long and i didn't have the volume on um have a great week i hope you have a better start to the week than i've obviously had uh, and uh, we'll speak to you again soon many thanks